Hello, people of the interwebs. I am back with another DVD Blu-ray hunting finds. I'm not going to film me out there hunting because, one, um, some of these places are just, uh, you know, dirty. But number two, I just want to show you the great things I found. I am thinking of bringing, actually videotaping the next one when I go out to Goodwill or whatever. But I want you guys to tell me down in the comments if you want me doing that. So let me know. And uh, definitely don't forget to like and subscribe if you're enjoying this. You know, if you don't like it, I understand. I really do. I'm No, no hard feelings, really. All right. So what we're going to start off with is when I first heard Salvation Army was open, I rushed over. And there was not much in the Blu-ray area and DVD area. There was not much at all. I ended up picking up and it scratched so it doesn't actually even... I can't even listen to it or anything, but I, I did get Britney Spears one more time for 50 cents. I wanted to get something, and this is all I could find. Um, does have a poster of her in it. The poster's in here, so, yeah, that's cute. My wife did point out, does, aren't her teeth, like, way too white? Look at her teeth there. That is not a back. She's like, okay, I won't show my teeth anymore. But, uh, <laughs> anyway... Then, um, yesterday, I went out to a person's house. They were selling DVDs, and they said $3, but um, they ended up doing $2, because so I bought 13 and that was good. And then we went to uh, Goodwill, me and Alex. She had gone to other place with me as well, but me and Alex went down to Goodwill. I haven't been to a while, and they had tons of DVDs that were great. So I'm going to show you what I picked up and why I picked them up. Some of them I picked up because of curiosity. Some I picked up because I already knew they were great, and some I picked up because... It just looks so bad, I had to get it. You'll see, I'll point out which ones those are. All right. So we're going to start with when I went to Goodwill last weekend. I found some amazing things. And I'm going to start off with the most amazing. It's the first thing I saw at the Goodwill. And I was like, oh, my God. And I opened it up. You never want to get excited by just the cover. Because then you open it up and the discs are missing. They're scratched to hell. Or it's even the wrong discs like happened to me yesterday. So, first thing I saw was this, and I was like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. I was like, oh, God. Thor, 3D limited, uh, you know, limited edition. I do have a 3D TV. I love 3D, and everything was in here, okay? Everything, including, including the digital copy was in here. Um, I used the code on iTunes, and it redeemed. I, you know, I was shocked. Because something that old, you think the people would have redeemed it, but nope. And and the discs in here, little smudges. That's it. So easily cleaned off. Nothing I'm worried about. But slipcover was there. Everything. And while Thor is not the best of the Marvel movies, it was the only one I did not yet own. So yeah, I got that. So what else? White collar season one. Again. The discs all minty, minty fresh, as a uh, as cinema sickness says, minty. I mean, this this is the best season of the show. First season is usually the best, um, but in this case, I say that I say that, and I stress it. This was the best the show ever was. Is that first season? Um, I stuck with it throughout the series, but that first season, it'll hook you. It really will. Uh, acting's great, characters great, story's great. This was funny. Now, this was a funny pickup, and here's why. We got, we're got we in an election year, right? I'm not going to get into politics, but it's an election year. Guess what? They had Indecision 2004, 16 years ago. Whew, yeah, that makes me feel old. 16 years ago, this, this was the election, and this was uh, George Bush versus John Kerry. Versus John Kerry. And um, all I can say is all discs are in here. They all looked good. You know, it's just nice. You know, a three disc set. Um, one, two, three. You like that different cover art? I mean, you like that? I mean. But yeah, all three discs. And this only was $2.99. That's what most stuff is. Or yeah, most stuff at uh, Goodwill is $2.99 up here. Um, which is not great compared to Salvation Army we're giving for 50 cents. I mean, you know, 50 cents. Um, 
but I'll pay three dollars if it's in good shape and it's something I really want. Like Greek, I did pick up Greek Chapter Two. Don't know if I ever showed off when I picked up Greek Chapter One, but I picked it up for fifty cents at Salvation Army. It was new, never had been opened. This was open, but um, was it open? I don't remember if this one was even open. Yeah, this was open because I checked the discs. Um, Slipcover included. Now, I'm, f I'm in my 40s. You know, I'm a young man in my 40s. Why am I watching this? I don't know. It's I, I find it entertaining. I really do. Um, it's really it's actually really well written, I think. Um, not too many characters. You have like, maybe like eight central characters. But it's interesting and keeps me... Uh, Entertain. I end up usually watching one episode every time I go uh, downstairs on the treadmill and and um, you know do some running. So I'm usually running at like a five or five point five mile per hour for about forty five minutes. You know, sometimes I come down a little bit because you know I'm I'm not I'm not an athlete. I'm just not. <laughs> I work in IT, man. I'm an IT athlete. Um, but yeah, it keeps me it keeps me uh, engaged. That's for sure. Keeps my mind off the pain. Now, this one, um, Scrubs went downhill for me as it went on. It definitely did. And I don't know if any of you agree, but if you do, you know, leave some comments. But I did actually like the reboot. Now, they unfortunately went back and called it the ninth season, whereas the eighth was the end. They, they had a finale episode. It was good. But this season was actually good. And I say that because they brought in new characters, fresh ideas, uh, fresh storylines. And it was more of a school, a medical school, than a hospital. Um, I liked it. And, you know, it, it had 13 episodes. It just didn't catch on enough. So it didn't it didn't go. Oh, and uh, Zach Braff's only on like four, four or five episodes of the 13. He doesn't stick around long. Um, another one was this. Now, this was sealed. I don't know anything about this, but I opened it up and I ripped it um, to my HCPC and it's called Never a Dull Moment. It's got Dick Van Dyke, Mary Poppins, you know, Dick Van Dyke. Yeah, this guy ha has the weirdest, weirdest British accent ever, but I love him. I really do. Um, there's magic in the memories, at least according to the cover there is. And, uh, I mean, it's in widescreen. It's enhanced for 16.9. You know, know nothing about it, but I'll, I'll, I figured give it a shot for three bucks, especially be, because it was sealed up. You know, that's good. Uh, when you can get three movies for three dollars, you got to do it. If 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 if, if even one of them is decent. Now, I know first rush hour is decent. I don't remember the second, which is not great, and the third I know nothing about, but I've heard it was basically a cash grab. Irregardless, I did own one and two of Rush Hour and picked up the Rush Hour three pack. And then I sold the first two to Alex. <laughs> They're good. The first one's good, at least. Um, she wanted them, so. But having all three just in here, and I mean, the discs are stacked, which is, ah, but um, they're, they're in good shape. They'll all play. Um, it just, it condenses it down because I, I don't keep these out. I keep these all in a box in the basement after I, I take them on and put them on my HTPC. And uh, if anyone wants to know more about that sometime, leave a message and I can, you know, leave a comment and I can definitely do a video on it. Um, my setup is pretty nice with the Cody box and an eight terabyte hard drive. I can't believe eight terabytes. Um, first hard drive I ever had. Uh, my parents' computer was 20 megs. That was big. 20 megs. Uh, this one I, I like. I haven't seen this or even thought about this movie in ages. Uh, it's in a stamper case. Stamper case. Um, and it's called Little Giants with Ed O'Neill and Rick Moranis. That's a great pickup. Um, if no one know, knows about this movie, Rick Moranis in it has a daughter. That wants to be a football on the football team. Of course, his brother, uh, played by Ed O'Neill, doesn't want to put a girl on the team. So uh, he he decides. Rick Moran says, "I'm going to form my own team," and they form their own team. You know, and uh, it's all the let's call them the rejects. You know, the kids that didn't get picked for the normal team, and we'll go from there. Right? I don't want to ruin it because we all know 
how it'll end. <laughs> I mean, those movies are pretty much uh, the same. You know, the underdog story. Um, but it's great anyway. It's entertaining. And it's Rick Moranis and Al Bundy. Oh, I'm sorry. Ed O'Neill. Uh, this is a film not to be missed. At least according to ABC Radio Network. Uh, <laughs> Swing Kids. This is uh this I saw a long time ago. It's takes place in 1939, Nazi Germany, um, and um, basically, it's you know, you know, people standing up against you know the Nazi movement and and demanding conformity from their youth, and they're going with swing music from America. Um, you do have Christian Bale in this, um, and then Robert Sean Leonard. And yeah, I'm reading these off the back. I'm not. I'm not gonna lie to you, people. I don't memorize this stuff. But uh, this is Christian Bale. I'm Batman. Look, I look brooding here. I look brooding. He does look brooding in everything. Um. Now, another thing I had done a couple weeks ago is this one guy was selling um the first five seasons of The Simpsons uh, TV series plus plus the movie with. Uh, it, like in a gift set thing where it had like five figurines, like vinyl figurines. Um, I already had the first three sets. I'd given them to Alex. Well, I figured I'll just get them back, I guess, and let her buy this all off me. So I went and picked it up for her. And, uh, you know, here's the fifth season. Well, I still have here because, like I said, uh, you know, I'm, I'm watching these, watching them uh, before, uh, before she uh, takes them home with her and, that's the fifth season, but I have uh, I have the first three, and now she has she has the first five, and she's a big Simpsons fan, so that's great for her. I do like the early stuff. I remember some of the early stuff, but uh, you get past eighth season, Ooh. gets a little gets a little bad. Um, here's here's a here's my Dollar Tree pickups. I just did these today, so I'm kind of jumping around because I'll jump back to what else I picked up um, yesterday, but. Those those were my finds from uh, Goodwill a week ago, all right, a week ago. So what did I pick up from Dollar Tree? Well, I didn't get out there on the 12th, which is when the stuff was supposedly put out. I didn't get to the good Dollar Tree near me, which usually has more stuff than this other one. I did not check early at any of the Dollar Trees because the stuff coming out doesn't seem that amazing. There are some good ones, but not, not most of the stuff. But I did get three things, and I'm happy with all these pickups. These weren't just, oh, I guess I'll grab it. It's a dollar. This is more of, oh, cool. I want this. All right. First one. It's a double feature called Snoopy Come Home and A Boy Named Charlie Brown. Now, why did I pick this one up? I picked this one up because I remember both of these. Um, they're, they're both older shorts. Uh, one's from 1972. The other one here is from 19... 19- Something, something. Uh, I think it's like 65. I don't know. It's 70. Let's say 75. 72 and 75. But these two are ones I think are pretty good. And, and you know, it's got double the peanuts, so it's got double the fun. Um, I do have the first three. Um, I have like, no, not not first three. I do have the first, uh, I have the Christmas, the Christmas Charlie Brown one. And the um, the Great Pumpkin Charlie Brown, and then there's like two sequels on those. There's it's Christmas Again Charlie Brown and something else, but I don't remember what the other one is. Um, this was one I was hoping to find, I, and I know I can probably find these online on YouTube or whatever. But I wanted to have these, and you know, the Pink Panther, you know, fan favorites cartoon collection. Um, I like the Pink Panther stuff. I really think that some of that early stuff, especially when it's just the music. I mean, there's some where there's talking stuff and the ant and the aardvark. But these are all Pink Panther cartoons, I think, not not anything else. And, uh, you know, the painter guy, always wondering what the hell's going on, where are those pink steps coming from. But it's got a lot of different ones on here. 24 cartoons voted for by you, the fans. I, I have no idea when this vote happened because I, I don't remember getting an email about this. Uh, but yeah, this, I mean, MGM, it's weird. They have Fox on, Fox on the back here too. So this was like, kind of like a Fox and MGM can like, kind of like a release put out by the two of them together. Hey, 
Captain Neo, sorry, didn't see you there. Hey, how you doing? And if you guys got any questions about these while I'm showing them, let me know. Now, this one you guys are going to question. My son's not into this. This is a nostalgia pickup, purely a nostalgia pickup, because, you know, I was young and this was around. I mean, this is hitting back to 1982, 85. I'm nine years old, so getting a little old for it, but the Care Bears TV series. Now, hopefully this is more the stuff I remember, which is the shorts, the, not the shorts, but the, the original kind of stuff where it wasn't so pampered down, you know, oh, everybody's great, everything's happy. I want some, I want some strife and conflict. Like, uh, there's one called um, against uh, Professor Coldheart, where he's like freezing them solid in ice. I mean, you got to like that stuff. He's, he's basically murdering them if they don't get saved, right? But they get saved, you know. It's the Care Bears, you know. So, all right. So I'm going to show you what Alex picked up at this guy's house that I wanted to uh, borrow from her to watch. Um, she picked up uh, Zach Efron 17 again. Ooh, the disc in here is not saying out its thing, so got to be careful with how I move that one around. Um, but Zach Efron in 17 again. Do it like this. <laughs> it's, can't you read it? I mean... Hilarious and heartwarming. That's upside down and backwards when I'm... Okay, we're just going to put that down there. Um, it just keeps falling around. This was a cool pickup she had. Uh, and I, I I, think my dad would be into this. So I might um, I might have to show this to him. It's got uh, Les Zeppelin, The Song Remains the Same, in concert and beyond. I thought that was a really cool pickup. And I'm into these concert pickups, but she noticed it before me. And it, all because I was talking to the guy. I like the guy because he was cool. He was really into movie stuff. And we were talking about a lot of movies while I was there looking through his collection, picking things out. And uh, meanwhile, there's Alex <laughs> stealing all my stuff. Um, now, this is Sandra Bullock, Samuel L. Jackson, Kevin Spacey. I know, I know, I know. The Internet has a problem with them right now, and I know why. And Matthew McConaughey is a time to kill. Never seen it. Never seen it. But that's a pretty good cast. That is a pretty good cast. And it's from the best-selling author of The Firm and The Client. Now, this I suggested to her. I do own the first one, The Butterfly Effect. But I did not own the second one. And this includes the second one. Now, I don't know if the second one's good. But look, if you get this for about two fifty, and you pay $1.25 a movie, even if that second one's bad, two fifty dollars for the two of them together is a good deal. And that first one is good. That first one is good. The butterfly effect, number two, is, you know, first one's got Ashton Kutcher and Amy Smart. And if you haven't seen The Butterfly Effect, I highly recommend it. Is it the best movie in the world? No. It's interesting. And that's one of the things. If I like movies where there's a lot of character interaction, world building, character building, and I like when there's stuff that I don't expect, where I can't see it coming. Because all I can say is, if I see it coming, it's like, eh. And no, I don't always want my expectations to be blown away. But what's nice is when, you know, you, a little bit of a curveball gets thrown and just like hits me in the temple, knocks me out. But not really. Now, this is kind of cool. I picked this up and, and I was like, oh, cool. I don't know if I have this. And I open up one of the things and I go, oh, cool. That one's in there. And then I check the other one. Oh, disc isn't in there. Incomplete set. So I bring up to the front just to let them know, hey, this is uh, incomplete. And they go, do you want it? And I said, no, it's incomplete. They go, no, do you want it? We're going to throw it away. I go, for free? And they're like, yeah. So I guess if a set's incomplete, you can have it for free. So here's a tip. If you are at Goodwill and do not steal, I am not advocating stealing here. Don't do it. All right. But if you're, if you're, at, if you're at Goodwill and you uh, – look through stuff, and you find something empty, I hate, I take the empty cases, too. I bring them up there and show them because I take those and I recycle them or I reuse them because some of the cases are janked real bad. But let them know, and sometimes you'll sometimes good things happen when you're a good person. That's what I'm saying here. But it's always sunny in Philadelphia, season three, and I was like, this is kind of cool because if I don't have this, let's check it out. And I open up the first two. Cool. Both are in there. The discs look minty. I'm like, oh, baby. I open up number three. 
Now, does this happen because somebody stole it? Possibly. What other way does this happen? What happens is people go to donate these and they don't check their dang DVD player. And guess what's in there? The movie, the disc. So they donate without the last one. Then they know it's later. So they just throw it in the trash or something. But, and, but I had another movie I was going to pick up. And if, this was good. You want to see the hair? Isn't that great? That's a, not too bad to that. Okay. <laughs> but actually, um, I picked up this movie and I, I was like, oh, cool. This looks great. Then I finally look at the top of it. Guess what it was? It was a disc from the Star Trek Next Generation box set. This was not part of the Star Trek Next Generation box and I was just killed by it. It just killed me. I was like, oh. And now I don't even remember what movie it was. So I guess it, I guess it couldn't have been that, that bad for me. But, you know, it is what it is. So it hurts sometimes when uh, that's the, that's the define my expectations I don't like when the disc isn't there. Definitely. So now what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually record another video and have it get posted up another day because there's a lot of stuff here. And I usually don't have time to make videos during the week. So I'm going to be stopping here. But take, see if you can guess some of the movies I might have picked up and uh, just throw out random titles. I, I will give you some hints. Okay, I'll give you some hints. Um, here's what we're going to do. Now, I know some people are going to know how to use the pause feature, but... We're going to do this. We're going to do real quick, real quick, up and down, okay? So, uh, but if you like this, if you want to subscribe for more content, please do. Uh, definitely leave comments about any of these movies if you watch them or you liked them or TV series, whatever. I love, uh, I love reading the comments. I definitely reply to them when I do get them. And um, anyway, uh, as always... Don't quote us, but here we go. All right. Those, that's your hint for the next video. I'll be posting in a couple days. And be well, be safe, use a mask, and I'll see you next time. But don't quote us. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Yeah.